Hello folks, welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm back in here today and I'm talking about, um, we're gonna talk a little bit more on that uh, Tara Reed situation about a, um, her, about her supposedly uh, being sexually abused by Joe Biden. Folks, it doesn't matter what position she was working in or whatever. If a woman comes forward with her story about being abused by a man, even if it's somebody that's in a higher, uh, um, higher position, like such as Joe Biden, uh, she told her story about being sexually abused. Well, I don't think she should have been silenced, folks. I think that she should have been allowed to um, do the same thing as Stormy Daniels did, you know, with Trump. I think that she should be heard, too, as well as anyone else. Because this lady is the one that has to live with uh, what happened to her. And I watched the video of her and stuff, and I really do believe her when she tells the uh, what happened to her. Um, because um, I could just, you know how you could look at somebody and tell that they're not lying, folks? Well, when you tell, you look at her, tell her story, she looks sincere and very upset because she was um, manipulated and gaslighted into doing what she did, what Joe Biden done to her. And folks, this worked on this girl emotionally and still is to this day. But just like I told you folks, you could go check out those videos uh, yourself. All you have to do is punch in Tara Reed. Uh, her last name is spelled R-E-A-D-E. -E. Um, and listen to her. She's got one interview with a lady named Megan Kelly. And Megan Kelly's asking her different questions and Tara Reed's answering her questions. And, uh, yeah, this lady's been silenced, folks. Uh, she's had threats to her life and things like that, folks, and that's not right. That's like, if you stop and think about it, folks, that's just like the narcissist, uh, how they do us when they want to silence our voices. That's what re that reminds me of, folks. Think about that for a minute. If they're being, uh, she's being silenced like that, folks. Think about how many other women out here that could be getting silenced too. Uh, as far as um, Joe Biden's concerned, because I think she she wasn't the only one. I think there was other women that. Um, he had done this too as well, uh, according to Tara Reid. And I think that's wrong, folks, because these women are suffering emotional abuse over this kind of stuff because their voices are not allowed to be heard like Stormy Daniels is. And the reason behind that, folks, is the Democrats are using that uh, in their favor because they want to be voted for. Well, this ain't right, folks. You know, we're, they're doing things in their favor at the expense of, an, of women that's been, um, that's been physically abused by a man that claims to be, uh, lovable and stuff like that and supposed to be a married man at the same time just like they tried to portray trump to be and everything well folks this is the same thing 
Now, why would they sit and uh, abuse Trump like that out in public and stuff like that and sweep Joe Biden's situation under the rug? That's not fair, folks. And, you know, I think these women have a right to get up there and tell their stories, too, because they've been abused. That's abuse, folks. It doesn't matter if they're being silenced or not. They're still being abused. They're, they was abused by Joe Biden, okay? So... You know, I know that there's probably other women out here that's been uh, silenced by Joe Biden and stuff and not been heard. And so if Joe Biden is sweeping that under the rug, how many other situations out here with other circumstances is he sweeping under the rug, folks? Think about that. And that would also mean that he probably won't work on domestic violence like he should, you know, and him being up in the high ranks like that. And this is part of the reason that I didn't vote too, folks, because I think that anybody that's been abused has the right to tell their story, folks. And I'm not in politics. I'm just saying Laying all politics aside, folks, if these women were done this way by Joe Biden, they were uh, sexually abused, right? Well, that doesn't set Joe Biden apart from Trump. You know, uh, it sounds to me like that Joe Biden done, uh, done just as bad as Trump did, folks. But, you know, I consider um, if even if Trump did have something to do with Stormy Daniels, folks, that's his personal business. Um, that's what he, it was between him and whoever other person was with him. And I don't really think that they should put that out there. You know, that's a, manipula a manipulation there. And that's also considered abuse. And they may not see it that way, folks, but that's what it is. The Democrats are manipulating everything in their favor. And if somebody's got a... a complain about sexual abuse like that, you know, they're not allowed to tell their story only because they're not a Democrat. Well, I don't think that's right, folks. That's why I think that uh, polit politicians are really being more harmful to our country now than uh, they did in the past. They're causing the country more harm than good, folks. And also, people are being divided and things. And, you know, that's not right either. So, I just step back away from politics, folks, and I stop voting. I don't get involved in it. But, however, I do want to hear that story about Tara Reid. And I think they should give her a voice to get up there and tell her story. Uh, they didn't care how Melania felt when they got up there about Stormy Daniels. So why would they worry about Jill, you know? Uh, in my opinion, that's an insult to Melania, too, because she's with Trump. And uh, Melania is a very nice-looking lady, and she has a good personality. So I don't really think that, uh, I don't think Trump did that with Stormy Daniels because he's got somebody like Melania. And I think Melania is all he needs. And this is just my opinion, too, folks. But, um... If you guys have a reply about this in the reply box, get up there and let me know because I'm very confused about this situation, folks. 
we shouldn't pick and choose uh, on who we hear about being abused. Abuse is abuse, folks. It doesn't matter what position a person's in. Uh, you know, if they've done something abusive towards a, a, a woman or something like that, it should be heard and, and let known, you know. Because I don't think this is right, folks. Okay, well, I just want to get in here and share this story, folks. Thank you for joining my YouTube channel. And you have a nice day and a blessed day, too, folks. Bye-bye.